Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're doing fantastic. I had an insight. And sometimes I call them insights, but they are so obvious that I I don't know how I didn't realize them before. But then I think it's how most things in life is. Like, we don't understand. They seem like they're simple. And they even might be simple. But until you comprehend them, you have to go through a process. And then they become simple. It's because you've been on a process and they're simple. So I'll start telling a story about a student that sent me a voice message the other day. I don't know her. Um, she, I know that she's a student of Portuguese. And we were talking about her joining my movie course eventually. And then she sent me a voice note. Yeah. Um, I am used to voice notes, but not for foreigners. Usually, my friends know that they cannot send me voice notes because I don't have much time. But again, Brazilians tend to send eight minutes, ten minutes, and oh boy, it can be tiring. I mean, unless you're talking to a friend or your friend is venting something and you really care about them. But otherwise, um, yeah, I, I, I do think that Brazilians tend to oversend voice notes, but it's, a, it's another story. So this student that I don't know well sent me a voice note um, and she sound incredibly kind. Her voice was so kind and I felt a connection to the voice. And what was before me sending her information? Because obviously, I'm a businesswoman. I want to sell courses. So if there's students' interests, interest, I'm going to send them information, obviously, uh, and answer their questions. But when she sent me the voice note telling about um, when she was going to do it, the... Uh, the things she was going through. I mean, she didn't overshare or anything, but she gave me some information about her that made me stop immediately and think, that's a person I'm talking here. And when I am on my movie classes or my group classes or individual classes, obviously I am in front of people. But when I'm not, I tend to think as the world, I mean, like like business speaking, uh, potential uh, clients, um, because I don't know them, right? And until they become someone like physical in my life with a story, with things that we are going to share and engage together, uh, I cannot visualize those individuals because how could I, how could you? Um, and it's like, I felt like every, every, every face that I don't know was a, like a faceless person until I meet them. But isn't it, isn't it the reason why people are mean? I mean, to people on the internet, because they don't actually know them. They don't actually know that the person in front of them, in front of me, is someone loved by many. It's someone else's daughter, sister, friend. This person probably has a lot of love in their life, someone who loves them, or someone that they love. and. What if I could shift this and think of everyone as someone that is that has a life that because that's the truth, basically. But I don't know why is it that I don't know. I think I do think that people when they're mean on the internet, when they criticize, 
when they judge, when they offend, when they dislike something, is basically they didn't think that there is a person out there behind that screen. And there is. So that was one insight. So that, that is connected to another insight that I had now that made me record this video. Um, it was the insight that I, I'm looking for someone to um, help me with. So I have a recording. I record myself singing. I don't, I'm not a singer, but I wanted to, I like the idea of very thoughtful birthday gifts. So a friend of mine uh, is turning, I don't know if I'm allowed to say her age, but she, she's turning a certain age. And I thought, and she's a Zouk, a Zouk dancer. And I thought that I would, I love Taylor Swift. I love singing. And I found a DJ, a DJ, so I thought, what if I play this song with my guitar and I have this DJ making this song into, um, like, Zookabo, <laughs> like, so she could dance to that song. Um, I mean, yeah, you could think, how narcissistic of you, Camilla. You have your friend dancing to your singing. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't expect her to. Maybe we could dance together or she, I don't know. It was just a gift, I thought. You know, it was something that I thought it, it, would, it would be a good idea. But now I don't know if it is a good idea or if it is even possible to do it. So maybe I'll just have this, I'll find another DJ because of the situation I will explain to you. But maybe I'll just give them a Taylor Swift song, Tank by Taylor Swift, and that would be so much better. Uh, but then, so the, the DJ, I sent him the project, and uh, I sent him the money, and I was waiting um, for days. And all I had from him is that he was going to do it. But maybe my singing or my playing, or maybe it wasn't so, I, I don't know what the problem was, but he canceled the order and gave me the money back, gave me a refund. And and he had me waiting for days. Her birthday is four days from now. So if I knew he wouldn't be able to do it, I would have given her something else or I would have found someone else to do this because now I don't have time. So that is very frustrating. So my, what was my insight? It's that today um, there was a ro rodeo in my city. And because of that, the power went off um, and I couldn't communicate to my students. Actually, this has been going on for the past four days. So uh, I would have five minutes of power, but then not connection with the internet not data nothing uh for like for days literally like like four days uh and that was very frustrating for me but it was also frustrating for my students who were waiting for me and I couldn't even let them know that I wouldn't attend the class because I couldn't you know so I, I took those two situations I looked at them and I thought Aren't they sort of like, not the same precisely, but aren't they kind of like, if this person here is waiting for me, I'm not showing up and they are, and, and they can show empathy. Of course that they know me, of course that we have a relationship going on. Of course, I hope they know that I wouldn't do this like willingly, but if they can be empathetic with my situation, why am I mad to this guy that probably heard my voice and thought, oh boy, that will be challenging. Um, I would have to charge way more and don't want to do it. Let me, he has the right to refund, but it sucks 
because when we don't have our expectations met, it sucks. And but what can we do with that? We can treat this something that my um, meditation coach, Cynthia, she teaches me over and over again is how to be full, playful with things when they don't go my way. How could I think of creative ways to solve a problem that at first I will see like mm, there's no solution. So I don't know what the answer is, but the thing that happens constantly is that something happens and then make me think about something that I go through and if you know and and then it hits a place where I learned something so I think the learning here moving forward is that my expectations won't be met just like the expectations of people that people but on me won't and we will have to learn how to deal with that in a way that isn't aggressive isn't passive aggressive isn't like doesn't cause more harm in the world because we have a lot of that and um, I, this situation, I mean, it, it's simple, it's silly, I know, but it's the type of thing that could make me go to bed. It's 1 a.m., really sad. It could, it could potentially make me feel bad because now I have four days to find her the perfect gift. And that's another expectation that I put on me. Like, I like giving gifts. Um, and I thought it was a very thoughtful gift, but now I ha have to think about something else. And maybe you will be just sending her a cake. And maybe it, it just, just, you know, maybe just the reminder, like she knowing that I care enough to send a cake. Maybe that's the thing. That's something good. It doesn't have to be me playing the guitar with a DJ making um, the song into something that she would dance to. Um, I don't know, you know? So frustrations, maybe they can be avoidable. Maybe we can go through life doing things and not expecting results but obviously we were going to expect we are like like by being humans we expect a great outcome from everything especially if we have good intentions but um it's an opportunity also to think outside of the box when things aren't the way i want it so my two lessons this week behind every screen there is someone that is important, that I should value, even though I don't know them, I don't know their story. They are someone that deserve love. And for every frustration that I receive, that I am submitted to, I am equally frustrating people in all the areas that I might not even know about. So, shouldn't I extend compassion and empathy to everyone who frustrates me in, an, in a level because I am going to disappoint and I am currently at this very moment disappointing people too and they are being, I wish, I hope that they're being understanding of my circumstances or situations even though they don't know which are and even though I don't know what are the circumstances of the people who let me down, couldn't I just not be an issue for them, not be unpolite, frustrated at them because of whatever? So that is my, uh, my two insights. Yeah, simple. Obvious, maybe, but it took me 
34 years to get better late than ever. <laughs>